Kev, just how big was that run at the close of the third quarter when it started to look like Miami was pulling away a little bit? Yeah, that was huge. I think that was the game right there. Uh, they were up, what, 14, 15, 15. And we cut that lead pretty quickly. Um, uh, you know, turnovers kept them in the game. They had 20 points off our turnovers. That's what kept them going, I think. That's the stat that stood out to me. Um, but for the most part, defensively, holding them to 43% shooting. They made some threes tonight, but for the most part, I think we did a solid job on defense. I think our turnover is the reason why they got a lead, but the end of the third quarter was huge for us. To your point the other night, not asking or worrying about where you were used specifically in the end, but for you guys to find a rhythm going to that same action, just how does that help you in those moments or just the rhythm overall that you got in with where you guys were going, going at Hero? Yeah, I mean, I always say the first quarter is the reason uh, for good basketball in the fourth quarter. So I think we stuck with the flow of the game throughout four quarters. And whenever we, we, we needed a basket, we ran plays that we ran throughout the whole game. You know, so it wasn't nothing foreign to us when we got to that moment. So um, we got to keep practicing. As, uh, I think these moments are good. I mean, we've been in a lot of tight, cl uh, close games. I'm sure Suns fans on edge uh, every game. But I think it's good for our team that we can play these fourth quarter games and get an understanding for what it's like in crunch time. So um, it's a good win for us. The leaner that you had with, with the minutes ago when you guys reset a little bit, they were like switching as you got the ball. Yeah. Just how underrated of a play is that by book to kind of pass into the space so you could step into your shot? Naturally? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's he's uh, all world passer who can make those reads at any time. And um, unselfish at the end of the game, one to give me the ball and uh, you know, so it's a play we draw up, it's what we practice, and it's second nature to us at that time. Kevin, multiple times you guys have faced adversity late in the game this year. What are you seeing from your team when you do face adversity? Oh, uh, that we stay poised. We don't let it rattle us. Um, you know, guys aren't panicking on the bench. Coaches aren't getting up screaming or upset. Um, I think we just try to focus in on how to be good the next possession and move from there. So um, coach called a timeout a couple times when they made some runs and we scored out those timeouts and also got a stop. And that's usually key. So just stand poised and, and understand that every moment that we can learn from. Hey, Kevin, uh, just curious on your thoughts on Nurk's game. Is it a standout one for him tonight? I think it was incredible. I think he was incredible tonight, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Bam is a tough matchup to deal with. I think he was physical, stayed between him and the rim all night, made him shoot over top of, um, over top of him and, you know, force him to tough shots. Um, five for 21, I mean, that's the game right there. Uh, All-world talent, Olympian, Hall of, uh, future Hall of Famer, one day all-star to come out here and set the tone like that was great for us. So we need that going forward. And a seven to one ties the best start in franchise history. Just curious, what's encouraged you most so far, and you know what's the key to kind of keep building on that? Us, I like I like the late game execution. I like that we are able to uh, fight uh, from being down and stick stick to our game plan to get back into games. Um, like I said, we don't want to be on edge every game like that, but it's it's pretty cool that we get to see who we are in those moments. So that's been a standout for me this season. Yeah, I mean, just understand that we got his back. Understand that it's gonna be nights where it's not your night. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be times where it is your night, like tonight. So, all of us throughout the team on the team understand that if we play a team game and if we play off of each other, then it'll open up for everybody. So, your opportunities may come one game; it may not be there the next game. Um, but that's just a part of you know, basketball in the season. You just got to be ready to play at all times. Kevin. Uh, Devin, we just asked him about the game. He said that Kevin Durant is an MF to deal with. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he is too. He opening the floor for me so much that they don't want to leave him or help or him or for him or Brad or Tyus, you know. So, yeah, they're, 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 they're MFers to deal with too, which is making it easier for me. The only follow I had with that was it just seems like, at least early, that you're not only getting the open threes, but the driving lanes seem more open now. I'm curious, is that just a product of, of of the scheme? Is that the guys you got around you? Is that you taking more of an initiative to, to get to the basket? I'm just trying to figure that part out. Yeah, I'm just trying to play how the defense uh, plays me. I mean, we got a little bit more space. Guys are spread out around the three-point line, so I can is the driving lanes are there sometimes. We work on that spacing um, to get driving lanes and open shots. So I just try to keep the game simple, shoot it when I'm open. 11 threes, man. I'm not, I don't think I shot 11 last year at all. You know, so um, Fizz, who's my personal coach every day, has been 
on me to hunt threes, and I think that's opening up my drives more than anything. People are a little nervous of me shooting that three. I might give them a head fake, and then I get some space to get to the rim. So I think the three pointer is opening up my game even more. Um, try to hunt as many as many threes as I can. And then, Katie, just with the impact that Nurk has had, what do you think changed tonight where he was able to really spread out the four from three? Kind of what you were talking about with everyone kind of gets their chance, but in past games, you really haven't seen him shoot as such an efficient clip um, as we did tonight. Yeah, I mean, like I've been saying, um, been my message since I've been here in Phoenix is a make or miss league. And that relies on your hard work as an individual, the, the time you put in on your craft. And Nurk has been in there every day working on his craft. So. It's going to be times, like I said, early in the season, trying to find his rhythm, trying to find his, you know, his, his legs and understand, you know, trying to find, play in a new system. So I think I see, I see him getting more and more comfortable with that shot. You know, there's three swishes tonight, too. It wasn't no rattlings. You know, it, it was three swishes. So um, the more and more he's comfortable and confident in knocking down that shot, I think the more dangerous we'll become as a team.